Welcome back to NBR and this is what is it that you want and I'm asking this because it all depends on you you can get it if you really really want it but is it really a belief of your own uh, have you got that set in place and what I mean is do you think about it all the time so when I say that, do you think about it all the time? Are you putting it into your subconscious mind? Because that's how we develop our beliefs. Uh, we put it into our subconscious mind uh, by repeating it over and over and over again. And the more we repeat it, the more we become it. Because we are our subconscious, our beliefs. Where we are at the moment now is where we came from through our beliefs, through our growing up. And how we replace them is habit. We practice it over and over and over again. When you were at school and you were learning stuff, especially primary school, you went over and over and over and over and over and over again and again and again until you knew it. And when you knew it, it was just there. It was a program you set in place. And you didn't have to think of it. You just knew it, like your timetables, for example, or a prayer, as it was something that we would have learned at school when I was growing up. And as I say, this is becomes your beliefs, what you follow, and what makes you who you are today. To change that, you practice what you desire. So, example, if you want your dream home, you would practice thinking of that dream home all day, every day. When you know that you're not thinking of it, you should be thinking of it. And this comes back to like Hanaponopono. When you were doing Hanaponopono, and as I said, doing it over and over and over again, repeatedly, religiously, so when you know that you're not doing it, then you should be doing it. And this is how you do, or this is how you replace your beliefs, how you set in a new program. You place whatever it is, dream home, in your mind, consciously. And when you're consciously doing it, you're connecting the conscious mind to the subconscious mind. Conscious mind, short term. Subconscious, long term. But with the short term, if you're doing it repeatedly, then it sticks into the subconscious mind. And when it sticks into the subconscious mind, you're getting your new beliefs. Uh, a new you. Getting what you want out of life, instead of going on off the beliefs of when you were younger, from one to seven all that you learn from one to seven. At that age, you could not understand that you were gaining and learning beliefs, but now you can. If you are growing up now and you understand that, well then you can place new beliefs in place or put them into place for yourself. You see, at school, you don't be taught how to accomplish or gain things. You're taught how to go to work and learn stuff, commodity. Isn't that what it's called? Uh, fitting in place. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the right word. Um, but fitting in place with everything. Uh, society. Then you learn to do that with schooling. The whole education system. I'm not knocking the whole schooling system because there is good points in it. Like your maths. Or I should say that right. I was corrected by a child one time. Maths, <laughs> you get me, and your English, uh, just being able to talk, obviously not a great one for me, but that was something I had to learn when I was at school, I had a speech problem, but yeah, it had me along the way, in that sense, but what it's missing is teaching you your beliefs, how to gain or achieve what you want out of life. And the education doesn't do that for you. 
it will not do that for you. It will set you up to go into a job, but won't fulfil you. Because the job's not fulfilling, that's fitting in place with society. When you learn your education, you go and get a job, next thing is a family, home, so on, so on. But you don't feel fulfilled because you're always working to support all that. And you're never comfortable because you're always worrying about all that's going on the same as society because you're fitting in about bills, mortgages, uh, finances. You start worrying about it all. So start replacing it with new beliefs. Put them new beliefs in the conscious mind. So figure out what you really want. Figure out what you desire out of life. Uh, what is it that you really, really, really want that would make you happy, like feeling fulfilled in life? Um, would that be financial way of looking at things, uh, abundance? Uh, would it be love, happiness, peace? Um, maybe it's all, all of it. Uh, but do it one at a time, if it is all of it. Uh, but what I'm saying is, repeat it, repeat it, repeat it, repeat it, until it's there. And then when it is there, what you can do is move to the next step, move to the next uh, belief, the next desire, and repeat it over and over and over and over again until it's stuck in the subconscious mind and I'll keep on pointing to the head where the brain is but that's where we automatically think of the mind being even though the mind's out here but the mind, subconscious mind mind, conscious mind to the subconscious mind it says think of the conscious at the front and the subconscious at the back so you're moving from one place to the other that's the way I like to think of it moving straight back so in between What's out here, we've got the conscious mind. And if we put in enough of the same thing into the conscious mind, it sends it to the subconscious mind and sets a belief. Now, everything goes to the subconscious mind, but if you're doing it repeatedly, the subconscious mind buries it deep and builds off that. With a conscious mind, forgets about it very easily. So you're going to get find yourself. You're going to get lost when you're thinking about these beliefs. So it's going to take practice. So what you're going to find is when you've got that belief and you're going over it and over it and over it again every day, day in after day after day, week after week, month after month, whatever however long it takes. What you will find is your mind gets lost, you, you will start uh, being distracted by th other thoughts. But what you need to do is be aware of it, and when you become aware of it, you can bring yourself back to that belief and start doing it again. And the more you do this, the more you slow down them thoughts, them distractions, and the more focused you can be. So you're you're creating a better you on all different levels. You're being more focused. You're clearing the mind from distractions or thoughts that are no good to you. The monkey mind, scattered thoughts. And you're focusing on what you really want and you're programming yourself. And then, through the programming, you're gaining that success or your desire or goals because you've programmed yourself to get that. The same way you programmed yourself to learn the timetable, or the times tables, or the or prayers, or anything like that, or reciting a poem, or some kind of a reading, reciting it over and over and over again you did, until you knew it in your head. Or if you're working in a job, say you use numbers a lot, you will find that you already have it programmed in your head. You don't have to do measurements and of different things you already might know of because you've went and done that many a time before. Or driving a car, 
you switch off sometimes and you drive to a destination and you wonder how you got there because you programmed yourself over and over and over again by doing it. You program the body, same as the subconscious mind or the ego, whatever you want to call it, the three in one is what it's called to me. Uh, because they all function in the same way, they're connected. So if you want something out of life, one of your beliefs or desires, you really need to go for it by repeating it over and over and over and over again. Like Hanapano, as I said before, uh, rehearsing religiously, going over and over and over and over again. And I know I keep saying this, but that's me trying to get through to you so you get the best out of you. Uh, that's all that is. Um, and in a way, I suppose it's a bit of programming. Uh, not to say that you're going to listen or not, because uh, you're already programmed in a way to follow the, your own beliefs and your own ways that's brought you to who you are now and it's very hard to step out of that because you've been doing it for however, whatever age you are um, and the only way you can do that is open up that awareness uh, and hopefully you can and bring out that better you that's what this is about uh, this mind body reprogramming hopefully it can help you uh, open up that awareness as I say uh, if you like my videos please hit subscribe and hit the bell thank you